Coming up in this episode. Three thousand pounds of explosives detonated near the aircraft carrier USS Ford. It's a test of her ability to withstand blast shockwaves. It's known as a full ship shot test. Here now is a closer look. The USS Gerald Ford displaces 100,000 tons and is powered by two nuclear reactors. But as you're about to see, she had to go through several different tests before she could become active in the fleet. Each of these tests was captured on camera, often in dramatic video, shot by the US Navy. To test the resilience of a new aircraft carrier, controlled underwater detonations are conducted near the ship. They are designed to assess how well it can withstand shockwaves from combat-like blasts. Live explosives, usually several thousand pounds of TNT, are detonated underwater at varying distances from the ship. Sensors throughout the vessel will measure stress, vibration, and equipment performance. A restricted zone of three and a half nautical miles will be enforced, ensuring no unauthorized vessels are inside the test area. In addition, environmental measures are taken to protect the surrounding ecosystem. This includes clearing the area of whales and other wildlife using sound waves, sonar, and other techniques. Three different explosive charges will be detonated in all. Lookouts report the spotting of any whales, dolphins, or schools of fish before giving an all clear. For the full ship shock test, the Ford sails with a reduced crew. Engineers and technicians from Sea Systems Command are aboard to run and monitor the test. Later, after a fuller complement of the ship's crew is present, weapons are put to the test. These tests are called Combat System Ship Qualification Trials. We have Doctrine active, is inserted, is red, bearing. One, two, one, true, 38 miles. The Ford has multiple systems to defend the ship at various distances. These include both Sea Sparrow and rolling airframe missiles. The missiles protect against long and medium range threats.
At closer range, the ship has what's called a close-in weapon system, or CWIS. The CWIS, which fires 4,500 rounds per minute, is a last line of defense. To simulate incoming threats, small jets and seaborne drones are sent toward the carrier. Once the ship has passed these tests, the carrier transitions into training and eventually deployment, where she'll be joined by her complement of aircraft and their pilots. One of the most complex systems on the Ford is the Electromagnetic Aircraft Launch System. Like the old steam catapult, the EMALS hurls aircraft into flight, but is much more versatile and controllable, able to launch many different kinds of future aircraft, including UAVs. But long before the ship ever left the builder, the EMALS went through its own rigorous development and testing while the ship was still under construction. Here in Newport News, Virginia, is the Huntington Ingalls Shipyard. This is where the Ford-class ships are built. The next ship in her class, the future USS John F. Kennedy, could be seen here under construction. Here, workers test the electromagnetic catapult system on the Kennedy. A dead load is hurled off the flight deck at 150 miles per hour. The Navy's surface combatants are built at just two primary shipyards, Bath Ironworks in Maine, and here in Virginia at the Huntington Ingalls Shipyard. Back on the USS Fort in the Atlantic Ocean, more tests are conducted. One of the more picturesque of these tests are high-speed turns, which are performed during both the Builder Sea Trials and later during the Navy's acceptance trials. At 100,000 tons of displacement, these high-speed turns are a sight to behold. The crew pushes the ship's propulsion system to the limit, putting maximum stress on its steel superstructure. Near maximum speed, these tight turns alternate both port and starboard. As the ship makes these turns, its wake creates a distinctive S pattern in the ocean. In this shot of the USS Lincoln, you can see the S pattern in the distance. If you enjoy these short documentaries, be sure to hit the thumbs up button to let us know. And subscribe to our channel for the latest episodes. Thanks for watching.